So we're going to continue looking at Just Too Easy. Go to the hub, log in, type in your username, your surname, as we know, our first initial, possibly a number, and obviously the all important at hub, Cymru net and type in our password and then go on to just too easy so we're now going to look at animate pictogram and branch if we go into jit 5 you'll see that these are here pictogram animate and branch let's click on pictogram very similar sort of uh, setup to what you're used to we can select one of the default uh, templates let's go for mini beast so we did the mini beast hunt in the garden with our children and you just simply click on how many of each you see so how many flies you've seen maybe a couple of slugs give it a title up here mini beast and again obviously we can record it if needs be as well mini beast and just embed that there mini beast let's try a different one let's do a new one let's try the blank template um, we've got a great selection of different um, sprites that we can choose from here. And also we can explore the net if we want to. Maybe we're doing it on our favourite sport, so we could type in football. Finds an image, double click, and then just literally just drag that down here onto there and add as we previously did. Um, exactly the same functions that we've seen in Google in Just Too Easy Paint as before. We can change our, our colours here, maybe an orange one. A pipette if, if needs be as well flip we're used to all these tools and again we can load we can save we can publish we can print and we can undo anything that we've done so very very simple to use let's have a look at animate possibly my favorite again same setup you can choose a template picture here we can upload something of our own we can take a picture of ourselves if we really want to but let's go with one of the simple templates let's go with a park this time and we go to the the box here to drop down Let's uh, do one on, on different animals. Same tools before to make bigger, to make smaller. We can flip here as well. And just drag that over here. And then all we need to do is click on here and press another one. And you can see the outline of our animal. Move along. Move along. Keep clicking here on the big one. Move along. Move along. And we can obviously add more animals if we wish. Um, Let's add a badger this time. You can join here. You can see he's appeared down on here. So we move along to the next screen. And let's play with that and see what that looks like. Let's play. A very simple animation. Again, we can name it. We can record it. And let's have a quick look at the branch. So this is a branching database. Again, same to the templates we, that we're used to. Pictures we can upload. We can take a picture if we wish of ourselves. Let's go for an iceberg one this time. And you have two options, a simple and advanced one. Uh, so we go with animals. And we just drag the animals that we want to put in our branching database over to here. So let's just go with a few for the moment to make it nice and simple. Um, and then we press sort down here on the bottom right. And we have to give it a question. The question is vital that you have a yes or a no answer. So very simple, does it have wings question mark and we can drop that in there say yes and obviously a lion doesn't have wings and this animal here doesn't have wings i'm assuming that's an anteater and we press ok um then we could ask does it eat ants I'm assuming it's an anteater now that goes in there and that goes in no and then one final question as we can see here it's all ready to go same very much what you used to press this it will say it does it have wings does it eat ants and we can play here does it have wings no does it eat ants yes is this the correct answer yes um so we'll stop that now and we'll do a more advanced one the only difference with the advanced uh version is when we drag and drop them over here we have the opportunity to add a name of the animal and a description so very good for the children's literacy skills um and exactly the same thing you would sort it ask yes no questions and you're done same options as always new saved so i hope hopefully you'll find that um print 
undo, hopefully you find that, that useful.